All right, so first, I don't know about this new haircut. But uh, this is a really good point, and I think something missed by a lot of the people trying to talk to me about telling me of like, oh, no, they've replicated it. Um, it's great. Uh, again, it's not, the, it's not that you can't do meetings. You can do meetings. You can do hangouts. But that doesn't get the thing I'm talking about, and that is when you're making games, especially when you're working with really smart, good people, you're often being iterative. You don't have this big roadmap and say, just you do this, and then the meetings are just checking in. It's about that organic discussion about it so that when you're talking to the animator and you're talking about like, hey, it'd be really cool if this happened, the AI person sitting there going, oh, wait, 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 you know what I can do? I can do I can add this thing over here and then we can amplify that. And it's like that kind of adding on and that kind of iterative approach in making of games is my favorite way to make them. Are there other ways to make games? 100%. If you don't ever want to come into the office, you don't ever have to work with me. That's the other thing. So you don't have to call me a boomer or something. Just don't work with me. Like people get so weird. Uh, but, but it really is of like how you work and what you're making. If I was making an industrial product, sure. If I was making something where it was like work for hire and we were just doing a punch list, sure. But when you're trying to be creative and you're trying to be creative and give agency to everybody on the team, meaning everybody has feedback, everybody could you know, participate in the design discussion. So I don't like to have dedicated designers, but instead everybody's a designer. You just can get way higher amount of well, work out of people, but also just higher amount of quality of work out of them because they're all participating and they're all feeling part of it and they're all understanding what they're going on. And that's what you lose not being in person. And I think a lot of younger developers in particular who aren't starting with that frame of reference don't understand that and don't get to have that. And, you know, often I'll tell people when they say about like entering the industry, I'm like start at some big company where you're faceless and you could just fail and find out and try things, right? Um, but also you connect with people, you bond with people. Some people don't like to be on camera. And so you go for days without seeing somebody and you don't know. It's hard to tell in their voice. Are they having a good day? Are they having a bad day? Is there something I can do to help? Is there just something about like, hey, just take the day off? Um, you know, like a lot of those kind of things happen as well. Because a lot of people I have found are fine in person-to-person -person conversations with me. But if they have to be on camera, all of a sudden it's different. And it's very different. And for us... When we we're doing the, the Anacrusis in particular, we didn't like this is how we were working. This is the the organic way we were working. So all of a sudden, then to have to start writing everything down and having things more planned out, and all of that was bad. And that's one of the reasons that hurt some of the development on the game was that transition over because we just lost the way we worked. And I thought we worked really well that first year. We essentially like stood up the entire game and had a working functioning prototype that we could build on top of and then we went into lockdown and we're like the first month and we lost entirely but yeah now people have gotten better at it but I still don't think you can recapture that because people don't want to sit in a room where everybody's talking all the time like I get the hangout rooms but you want to be able to be like hey you know I just want to hang out and like for me if you notice like when I stream and stuff is the only time I put on headphones because it's the way Discord works. But otherwise, I don't like to wear headphones. So I have my office is my own office, right? Like it's set up so that I can not have to wear headphones and I can still talk and I can do Zoom calls or whatever because I can't work with headphones on. It drives me nuts. Um, I, I did it enough years. Um, but so everybody has their own thing. But in person, you can you, there's just more flexibility in how you approach and how you talk to people and how you engage with people. And I really miss that. But again, if it somehow, if you are making the greatest games ever and you're doing it all remote, rock on cool for you. I'm just saying from my perspective, it's not about wanting control of employees or any of that. It's about wanting actually to give them more power and more agency and have that creativeness kind of flow from everybody and not just top down.